Hello there, wonderful people, and it is a time for Yosemite Valley again. So, an hour ago, you've seen my first episode of the new Arctic Pack DLC, which is going to be a polar station. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check it out. The link will be on the top right now with that wonderful card. Uh, at least I hope that I remember to put it in. Now, um, in today's episode, we are going to prepare for the big cat area. We are going to start off with um, having the Siberian Tiger in, and honestly, I didn't want to make a whole episode on this one uh, solely because you have seen the Siberian uh, tiger habitat when I did this. Uh, for those who haven't seen that check out on the channel um, there is a whole episode on where I built this habitat but it is so much suitable for this area that I felt like okay it has to go into this park. Why Why should I do double the work? You know it's it's there are so many animals we can tackle why just do it double here and I decided to uh, integrate this Siberian habitat in actually Yosemite Zoo um, the same way as as I uh, did it over at the um, uh, at the uh, single build, I should say. But um, this is actually not not all we do today, and uh, this is the reason why it took a little bit longer until the next episode dropped. Um, I'm sorry for that, but this is mainly because I wanted to get it right. I didn't want to rush it. I didn't want to um, yeah kind of uh, make it feel make it feel kind of squeezed in you know I just wanted to make sure that this episode um, has enough in it to be standing as a sole episode and I, uh, I'm quite happy with how it turned out uh, I must say because uh, it, it provides um, the beginning of what we will do in the next like two-ish three-ish episodes I guess uh, which we are focusing solely on the big cats so we're gonna have a snow leopard we're gonna have um, a lion obviously we are going to have the cheetah um, and we already have the Siberian tiger in here so it will be a pretty interesting area here it will be a pretty huge area in terms of guests so we have to manage the guest flow pretty well and we have to also look into some cool uh, backstage work. So yeah, there's a whole bunch that we have to look into uh, while we are while we are building in this area. And also, the main reason why I do this is I am planning to hand over my park to some people uh, in the meantime. So I needed to go a little bit into a different area so that I leave open areas that they will tackle um, to them. So I didn't want to build in those areas quite yet. Uh, I think you guys can figure out who these people will be. But um, yeah, more about that in the future. Uh, I just love the interaction between uh, you know people playing the game youtubers and you know friends I should say uh, that they bring in their ideas and their stuff so I'm I'm fairly interested uh, to see how they will how they will tackle it and yeah now the area I'm going to build today is is mainly inspired by uh, yeah, these kind of big cat houses you have in European zoos as well where there is a lot um, going on in the middle of yeah, well, in, in the middle of, of, of a zoo where you don't have that much, um, yeah, well, the, the terrain and stuff is, is normal, but like heat-wise and temperature-wise, it's not that easy uh, to maintain those animals. So you also have like a big, big house where they can be in um, and yet they have an outside area. So this is what I what I had in mind while building this and I, as I can see, um, I'm, I'm just tackling the terrain quite a bit here to make sure that it is interesting looking. I didn't want to make it all pretty flat and uh, Dutch, you know, <laughs> sorry for that. Sorry a little, I'm, I'm German, I'm allowed to do that. Am I? Whatever. Now, yeah, you can see I'm putting down a little bit of a stuff area here for the uh, Siberian habitat and, and now I'll leave you alone a little bit with this um, time lapse. I'll be back later in this episode where we are going to talk about the cat house but there's not much more to talk about. It's just this backstage area with a little bit of a stair access towards this building up the hill um, but you mainly have seen this habitat already in its full glory so why shall I talk too much about it. Let me just jump in once there's more interesting tough, uh, stuff to talk about. I'll so see you in about five-ish minutes. Thank you. 
All right, here we go. So you have seen now a very intricate design of a house here, a, which has a very interesting shape, I should say, and it will also lead into a very interesting building in the end. And you've seen that I managed to squeeze in the facilities in the middle of the building. The main reason for it is that I want to make sure that all the habitats, which we are going to line out on the floor later in this episode, you will see what that is, um, that they are accessible from the inner part of this area. So I really spent a lot of time um, challenging myself to build a house that has enough space for the people walking through it, provides a nice extra additional uh, sense of guest flow management because you can, you know, I, I built basically some little base that the people can go into to watch the animals. Um, and there is a a second layer of path which is a little bit um, behind that so where people can actually traverse so if the people just want to go through that house because they have a different target they basically use the inner line while the people who want to see the animal and they you know stop by they will get closer to the um, windows and stuff anyways so this is why they're not blocking the actual pathway that the people are going to use this was the main design idea and to what I wanted to make sure that this house provides not only um, a nice shape but also a very functional um, feature by by just having the facilities in the middle and I'm even thinking of adding some some guest facilities in here like shops and stuff But we'll see later um, and I, at the same time. I wanted to make this building still look very very slick and very um, uh, Easy that in this area. I didn't want to make it any big. I didn't want to make it block uh, the views too much I didn't want it to, to be very confusing in terms of slopes and heights and whatnot so I wanted to make it really um, a very very flat building in a way um, and I think I kind of succeeded in that so you can see I'm I'm using this tower now over here to to kind of uh, make these edges look yeah well actually cleaner because they look pretty pretty damn unclean at the moment so I was actually going in and, and trying some design uh, variants here but I ended up using this tower because I feel like the tower itself uh, looks kind of good. We will have some planters on top of them and I'm even thinking of maybe putting a terrace on this building uh, which then has uh, also nice viewing uh, angle of viewing platform for the different animals. So that could be a solution as well to put to put actually um, the facilities on top maybe and, and kind of create a little yeah you know just a little uh, balcony area um, terrace area from where the people can then look into the various habitats around here so feeling feeling more like a natural environment um, rather than uh, get, getting them really too close to the animals I want them them animals to have a nice very natural habitat that they can roam around free in and they don't feel observed the whole time they don't feel watched and this is the main idea I had about this but yeah you can see at a certain point I figured okay the black is not nice for the roof and here we got a cut I, I just made this all brown at a certain point and now it is time to actually lay out where the habitats are so this is the lion as you can see um, in this small area will be the snow alia I call it because leopard would be too too long and alia is always the snow leopard so it's the snow alia and then we have the cheetah over here in this uh, back area which has a bigger area so they can run around and you know and then I well I did what I needed to do and this is the uh, inclusion of the indoor area so not only this building is providing a good view for the guests it will also give access to the indoor areas of the animals which we are going to design hopefully for Saturday's episode to put the animals in already and then in the next couple of episodes we're going to make their actual habitat look nice and stuff um, because that is most likely quicker done than the interior the interior is always a bit um, it's a bit more t finicky to do, a bit more tedious, and it takes more time. So they kind of fill in an entire episode whilst doing the entire outside with all the terrain and stuff also only takes one episode because usually you're quite quicker in doing that. So I don't know why it is, but it's, it's usually you're quicker, which is very, very nice indeed. So yeah, you can see definitely um, how this whole area will develop now. I looked a lot into into the different uh, views and different angles and how this building will turn out in the end and here you can see I'm I'm putting down the roof and as I said I'm still I'm still not sure if I don't go with a terrace on top I really have the feeling a terrace could be pretty cool indeed uh, w like a really gigantic viewing platform and just create a certain shop front in the middle of that viewing area I think it could be a good thing to do uh, just because it definitely uh, provides a nice view onto the animals, but yet um, make sure that the animals don't feel stressed by them. So I think design-wise this could be a cool thing. I'm just not sure because it is so big, like this building is really just gigantic 
and I yeah I just hope that this this works out and also the music in the background you're just listening to by the way is a bit more relaxing calming for the winter days um, but as soon as we go in the real habitats uh, for the lion I'm trying to get in with the more African one or even using the actual planet zoo uh, music again just for those who are recognizing the music to be a bit different. So yeah, then I was going for some uh, custom windows. Obviously, yes, they are open. I figure that out later as well. <laughs> but at the end, you will see how the design uh, will then effectively work. Um, yeah, some some things I just not finished yet. Uh, I will do so in the next couple of episodes. Um, maybe even off screen. Maybe I just don't 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 annoy you guys too much with it. I'm I'm just I'm just planning on on getting some more clean looks into it, as you can see. All these little things that need to be done before we can finally make those habitats really uh, be working and uh, yeah it, it, it was really a challenge to get this all done uh, because this this build turned out to be way bigger than I actually expected but this is now how I will do it you can see I'm, I'm just putting this glass front and uh, just right in front of these things so you have this little border for the people to not go completely onto the glass um, which maybe you know prevents them from knocking onto the glass which we don't want because this is going to annoy the animals too much but well so guys we are at the end of this episode i really hope you did enjoy um we had the question of the day today in the polar uh, episode as well but i do want to have another question now which is your favorite big cat it's pretty straightforward what is your favorite big cat and do you like cats or are you more of a dog person in general so this is what i want to know from you guys in the comments down below and obviously as always how you like this and if you do have some ideas for the design of this building um, now that's it for today tomorrow will be the um polar station again on friday will be franchise mode again i guess and then weekend will be yosemite and polar and whatever so have a good time plenty of uh, content to come i hope you guys enjoy it and i'm gonna see you in the next one have a good one bye guys Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRanCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.